We're going to have a brief interlude um, from our Pancake Day Committee. Good morning. Oh, come on. We can do better than that. Good morning. Isn't it a beautiful day outside? It is. You know what, Patrick and I were talking, it's that season again where you all just dread that we're all coming to talk and skits and yeah, it's coming. We're only six weeks away, but we were th talking this morning, we have a lot of new members of this church and there's people in the choir that I don't recognize their faces, but quickly, what is Pancake Day? This will be the 64th year that Pancake Day has been held at First United Methodist Church in Waynesville. That's pretty exciting. Last year, with me doing modern math and counting the money and the tickets, we estimate that over 3,000 people entered the Christian Growth Center and participated and were part of our church and ate pancakes last year. And I think that's amazing. I don't know where we're going to put more, but we've got big plans for you this year. We're going to do something that has never been done in the history of Pancake Day before, and Patrick's going to tell us about that. But I just wanted to briefly, you're wondering why my grandson Levi's up here and he's wearing the dreaded cowboy sweatshirt, but there's a reason for that. You know, Patrick went to that school in Raleigh, you know, that they teach you how to use a shovel and a hoe and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> and the educated people went to the hill up a little bit higher and they got a real degree from the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. And and, and Levi is a Cowboys fan, and I'm actually a Panthers fan, but you know what's really cool about that is that even though we all don't like each other's university or there are different programs, we still all love each other, and we're willing to sit down and share and break bread at the table. So this year, the theme is going to be the table is set. Who are you going to invite to the table? And Patrick is going to tell you what we're going to do. And this, I'm really pumped about this and really excited. This is the biggest thing we've ever done at Pancake Day. And it's going to take a lot of work and help from you guys. Good morning. So not that we hear many complaints when it comes. You know, I know, again, we'll take up a little time as the month goes, goes along. <clears throat> but there's two things we hear from folks. Number one, uh, they're going to ask me to volunteer. Of course we're going to ask you to volunteer. And they're going to ask me to sell tickets. Guess what? We've taken half of that away. This year, Pancake Day's free. Not going to cost a thing. We're going to invite the whole community. But we are going to double down probably. If you've been working two or three hours, we're probably going to be looking for four, five, eight, ten, something on that order. Um, we have no idea how many people we'll have. Um, but again, we've taken half your burden away. No more selling tickets. We're giving them away. Um, at least for this go around, we're going. This is uh, maybe a pilot project, um, but uh, our hope is just to reach the community. The community has been wonderful to us as you know a church. They have supported Pancake Day for so long, um, you know, given of their time to stand in line, given of their dollars, and we just want to return that and really open our doors to the community. So we look forward to it, and uh, more to come. Thank y'all. 